Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a conditional probability problem. And suppose that we have two events, event A and event B. And suppose that event A is the event that we have a rare disease. And suppose that event B is the event that we went to the doctors, got a medical test done, and it came out positive. Given that the medical test came out positive, we are looking for the probability that we have a rare disease. So we're looking for the probability of A given B. And here we are told here in green that the probability of having a rare disease is equal to 0 0.0001. And the probability that we have a medical test that came out positive knowing that we have a rare disease is 99%. So, as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So, to solve this, we use Bayes' theorem. So, this is Bayes. And Bayes' theorem tells us that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B given A multiplied by the probability of A divided by the probability of B. And the probability of A is known as the prior. So that is the information that we have prior to any observations. The probability of B given A is known as the likelihood. The probability of A given B is known as the posterior. And the probability of B is known as either the marginal likelihood or the evidence. And essentially, the probability of B, the evidence factor here, essentially ensures that the posterior is normalized and stays between 0 and 1. And the probability of B can be found using the law of total probability. So the probability of B using the probability law is equal to the sum over all n of the probability of b given a n times the probability of a n. So essentially, if we sum up all conditional probabilities for all events n, then we can get the probability of b. So then here we can determine the probability of a given b. We know what the likelihood is. It's given as 0 0.99. The prior is the probability of A. That's also given. So that's 0 0.0001. And then we're dividing it by the probability of B, which is going to be the sum of these conditional probabilities here, which is going to be the probability of B given A, probability of A plus the probability of B given not A times the probability of not A. And the probability of B given A is given 0 0.99. Probability of A is also given 0 0.0001. The probability of B given not A is going to be 1 minus the probability of B given A. So this one will be 0 0.01. And this last one here, the probability of not A is equal to 1 minus the probability of A, which will be 0 0.9999. So the probability of A given B, so that is given that we know that our test came out positive, what is the probability of us having that rare disease, is given by 1 over 102, which is roughly 0 0.0098. So about 0 0.01. And that is our answer. And this is interesting because the test came out as positive, 
though the probability of having the disease is still very, very low. Intuitively, you would think that if the test came out positive, then there would be a high chance of having this disease. But that is actually not the case. And this here is known as the Bayesian trap. So it's called the Bayesian trap because it goes against our intuition. So we had the probability of A, and so we know that rare diseases are rare, and so they will have a very small probability, which we do, you know, the 0 0.0001. And we know that if we have this rare disease and the test comes out positive, it has an accuracy of 99%. So that is also very intuitively clear. But when we use Bayes' rule to determine the probability of having this rare disease, given that the test comes out positive, we get a very unintuitive answer, and we get 0 0.01. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and hit that bell notification icon to stay up to date on any new videos posted. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.